folks, we've spoken in the past as to the Republicans having won uh, a majority of House seats in this past election, despite the fact losing to Democrats nationally by over a million votes in ballots cast for congressional races. We know that in the 2010 redistricting cycle after the 2010 census, Republicans created much more dense Democratic seats essentially corralled Democratic voters into these extremely uh, gerrymandered uh, districts. Gerrymandering obviously has been going on since time immemorial, but never in such an aggressive and partisan fashion. Occasionally you would see politicians attempting to gerrymander to keep themselves in, um, in power, but uh, nothing so coordinated and on such a wide-scale level. Uh, as we've seen is since 2010. And apparently in Virginia yesterday, and this story is still trickling out, the Republican Senate in Virginia is split 2020. And on Monday, State Senator Henry Marsh, a Democrat, 79-year-old civil rights veteran, was reportedly in Washington to attend President Obama's second inaugural. The Republicans took that opportunity in having a 19 to 20 advantage to force through a midterm redistricting plan that was basically set up, again, to corral Democratic voters into a couple of very safe seats for Democrats, but opening up the door for more safer seats for Republicans. The new redistricting map revises the districts created under the 2011 map and would take effect before the next state Senate elections in Virginia, and we would uh, redraw district lines to maximize the number of Republican safe seats. Apparently, this was such a surprise that even uh, Governor Bob McConnell, Republican, has uh, claims that he was not aware of this move, and he's pledged, uh, or he hasn't made any pledge to endorse the new district lines. This has to go to the Republican-controlled House, but presumably, it's going to um, it's going to pass there, and then McDonnell needs to uh, offer its final approval. Democrats, of course, were um, surprised and quite angry. The, to add insult, I guess, to injury, uh, following the, um, the vote, the Republicans had one more vote, which I guess was a, uh, a motion by the Republicans to adjourn the Senate in memory of General Thomas J. Stonewall Jackson. <laughs> um, a well-known Confederate general. Just to put a little bit of icing on the cake, as it were. Uh, no word as to whether or not McConnell is going to approve this, but it is a uh, classic Republican fare. And when uh, President Obama spoke during his inauguration of the rights of voters to vote without having to face long lines just because they live in a predominantly African-American district. I don't think he was that explicit. But this is the new Jim Crow. Make no mistake about it. Not only is this a concentration of Democratic voters and sort of ghettoized district. It is also a concentration of African American voters and other minorities in very tight, condensed districts. Um, we're going to hear more about this uh, when the when the Supreme Court takes up the the, the Civil Rights Act and the, those voting rights acts that are going to be facing them this year. But they're really reprehensible.